William & Mary Men's Soccer met number 8 North Carolina in a back-and-forth shootout on Wednesday evening at Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary, North Carolina. You know, I think it took us a little while to get going there. I think uh, we were maybe a little too fearful. I'm not sure why, but, um, you know, we got off to a bad start. I think we were a little we caught a, on a little, a little bit unaware, excuse me, in transition and uh, gave up a, a pretty simple first goal and then allowed that to rattle us a little bit. It took us a while to get going. You know, we got a goal in transition ourselves, which sort of gave us a little bit of belief. And unfortunately today, you know, our set piece defending wasn't good enough. And ultimately that was the, the difference in the game. We did score a good set piece or a goal from a set piece to, to get it to 2-2. Two -two, but, you know, again, uh, Carolina is a good team. Um, I felt like if we'd had our top performance, we had a good chance to win the game tonight. We didn't have that top performance. We, we had some good things going on in stretches, but it just wasn't consistent enough from start to finish. After the Tar Heels took a 1-0 lead on a fourth-minute counterattack goal, the Tribe pulled even as Reeves Trot found William S.K. at the near post in the 32nd minute. The first goal came in transition, which the last couple games we just haven't had as many opportunities to have transition moments because other teams have defended a little bit deeper with more numbers against us. Um, so we always knew that with, with Carolina they were going to send numbers forward and that if we did a good job of defending and winning the ball and connecting some passes to break pressure that we would get some transition moments. And, and we know that we're, we're pretty dangerous because of our pace and transition. Just before halftime, the Tar Heels retook the lead on a Giovanni Montes de Oca goal. Antonio Bustamante responded with the equalizer in the 69th minute, rifling home a shot from 25 yards out off a pass from SK. It's good to get a goal from a set piece for sure because that's something that uh, we've been spending some time on. We've been trying to, you know, get guys into the optimal positions. And, uh, you know, tonight we got a goal from those situations. Unfortunately, UNC's Allen Wynn scored the game winner just four minutes later off a set piece. It was Wynn's second goal of the contest. I think we feel good about the way we started the second half. We feel good about uh, our being a little bit more courageous in terms of passing the ball and, and, and keeping it a little bit more in the second half. And um, you know, hopefully those things will carry over. I think we're learning some valuable lessons here early in this, in this you know, non-conference part of the schedule. And uh, the, the goal is to keep putting more and more of it together. And hopefully Saturday we'll be able to do that and, and uh, get the kind of result that we're looking for. The Tribe hosts Campbell on Saturday as part of Family Weekend. Kickoff is set for 2 p.m. from Martin Family Stadium.